I want to speak about should you be teaching about God if you are not living the way that he wants you to. So should you try to get people to come to God when you are in sin? Give me a second. So should you try to get people to come to God when you are in sin? For instance, maybe a year or two ago, I had this woman come to me and ask me, hey, should I wait to come to God first or should I try to get this other person to come to God while I am in sin? And <laughs> I was thinking, how are you going to show a person the light when you are in darkness? So what I told her, I was like, hey, get yourself straight first, then get other people to come to God. Look, and I have said this more than once. Your life is a larger ministry than what you say because I know how it is with me how people get or how people are with me in person not over YouTube and stuff like that but in person they watch your life quicker than they listen to you and YouTube probably too, but there is no way that you can see me live my life or whatever else. But in person, they are going to listen or look at your life quicker than they listen to you. So your life is a larger ministry than anything else. For instance, uh, four years ago or five years ago, that was around a time where I did not know much about God, but I believe I was doing right for like six months. And then after that six months, I went right back into sin again. But anyways, uh, perhaps five or six years ago, I forget. I don't know. But anyways, at that time, I was doing right. And... I had this guy come up to me and say, looking at how I live my life, gave him more encouragement to do the right thing. Like it pushed him to live for God more. And I wasn't really teaching that guy. I believe that guy knows more than me about God. I believe he knows the Bible way more than I do, way more. But me living the way that God wants us to live, that encouraged him to do more. When this guy knows a lot more than me about God, way more. And even now, I am sure that guy knows a lot more than I. But knowledge alone is nothing. You have to be able to put it in action. But anyways, let me get to my point. Should you be teaching about God while you are in sin? Let's go to Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. Okay. Judge not that ye be not judged. And so many people take this out of context. So many times. So this is saying, don't judge. If you do judge, you will be judged anyways. So let me continue. Verse 2. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. So whatever level you judge a person, 
you are going to be judged at that same level. This is why I tell people, don't slander people. Don't slander people. Don't slander people. Don't slander people. Don't just say mean or crude things about people. Now, let me say this. I like to tell jokes <laughs> and <laughs> sometimes I make people really angry, <laughs> like so angry with my jokes. And, you know, some people understand my jokes, you know, they may laugh and stuff like that. But there are like a few people that really take my jokes the wrong way. So I have to be careful who I joke with because some people take my jokes very bad. And hey, you know, that is just how it is. So I have to be careful with that. So don't slander people and watch your jokes. Try to fill out their personality before, even with that, it is kind of hard to tell which jokes is going to hurt someone, but, and you may say, well, should you even joke? Well, what type of atmosphere is that? Like not being able to have fun with each other, not being able to joke around. I don't know. I don't believe joking is a sin. I believe if you joke about sinful things, that may be a sin there, but, you know, just joking around with people. Even if it is not a sin, you still have to be careful with what you joke about because you can hurt people which I have done and I had to repent of it more than one time. So, okay, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged with what measure ye met. So whatever level you judge a person, you are going to be judged at that same level. And with what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you again. So the same thing. Verse three, here we go. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? So how can you tell me, Kevin, you having sex before marriage is wrong, but you are having sex before marriage? How can you say stealing is wrong when you steal as well? How are you going to correct me when you are in sin as well? Does that make any sense? So I can stop right here to prove my point, but let's continue. Four, or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thy eye and behold a beam is in thy own eye so how can you tell me I need to pull this thing out of my eye when you have something in your eye as well how can you see what is in my eye but can't see what is in your eye how can you say that I am doing wrong and you are doing wrong Does that make any sense? Let's continue. Five, thou hypocrite. First, cast out the beam out of thy own eye. So, before you can come to me and say that I am in sin, you have to be a servant of God, a person who is following his rules and regulations. If you are not, how can you come to me and correct me when you are in sin? First, get out of sin. Then come to me and tell me what I need to change. So, let me continue. First, cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. 
So first, get out of sin. Don't go out teaching people about God when you are in sin. Because what you are going to do, they are going to check your life out and say, Hey, this person is doing the same things as us. So that means that we can live for God and have sex before marriage. We can cheat. We can do drugs. We can gamble. We can do all of these sinful things. And it is cool because this minister here is doing it as well. You are sending out the wrong message. Like I said before, your life is a larger ministry than what you say. You can be a very good teacher, excellent, but if you are still in sin, you are a very bad teacher. <laughs> My Lord, I pray that this makes sense. Does it make sense? Do you see why you should not be teaching while you are in sin? It does not matter if you are a pastor or a minister or a deacon, whatever you are. If you are in sin, you should not be teaching. You should not. Position means nothing if you are not living for God. What is the point? I am a pastor and because of my license, I can teach. It does not matter. How I live my life, I can teach. What? And you are going to send so many people to hell because of being the way that you are. Sit yourself down until you can change. I would not be doing what I do now, teaching, if I was not following what I am teaching. Makes sense, right? What if I was watching porn all day and then I come on YouTube? <laughs> you guys need to stop watching porn. Masturbating is a sin when I just got done masturbating. What kind of sense is that? Hypocrite. Hypocrisy. You are hurting people when you do that. Why? I don't know. Back when I was in sin, I was not interested in teaching people about God. <laughs> I don't understand it. Why would you be interested in teaching people about God when you are in sin? It makes no sense. When I was in sin, I did not teach anyone about God. Not at all. Hey, what you are doing, you are in sin, but I am doing the same thing as you. That is wicked, man. That is so evil on so many levels. Why would you want to teach? Why would you want to stand before people and tell people how to live their lives when you are enjoying sin. It makes no sense, man. Crazy. When I was in sin, I wanted to be with other people that was in sin. I did not want to be around church people. Well, mm, when I was going to church, I wanted to change, but I was still in sin at that point of time. But, I wasn't teaching anyone because I was not right. I pray that this makes sense. <laughs> Willing to preach to a person, but you are enjoying your sin. It, it doesn't make any sense, man. It really does not make any sense. So I pray that this makes sense. <laughs> God bless.